hello, hello, my young impressionable nuggets. If my uh, sniffling is very prevalent in this video, it's because I just got over a cold or flu or alert the hell that was. Uh, just one quick, just wanted to give a quick disclosure that this video is not meant for younger viewers, children, if you will. So, um, yeah, viewer discretion is advised, and here we go. So we are, in fact, very, very close to the end of the Egg Saga. This is the first, wait, no, the second to last, or the first to last? I think it's like the second, this is one of two final videos that I will be doing. Um, I think I addressed this already, but I don't know if you noticed the hair structure thing that I had built on this side is gone already. Uh, I didn't really like that, so yeah. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to construct some wings. Um, I'm going to do one side and I just want you guys to know that whatever I'm doing on that side is the exact same thing I'm going to do on the other side. The reason I'm not going to film that other one is because it's going to take too long and I kind of want to finish the uh, Egg Saga already and move on to the next project. Um, if I may be perfectly honest. Not that this was strenuous, but... Or anything. Yeah. So how was your Christmas and uh, New Year's? No, 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 I'm sorry. New Year's has not yet happened. Um... How was your Christmas? Christmas Eve. Was it good? Was it not so good? Did you eat lots and lots? Or did you just not do anything? Whatever the case may be, just hope you guys had a happy Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, holiday in general. Um, yeah, mine was alright. Like I said, I've kind of been sick, so I didn't really do much. I couldn't do much. Couldn't really be outside that long. Uh, that's alright. It's nice. It was nice. I guess all we I really have to look forward to now is the new year. Uh, I mean, I hope you guys had a nice one. Holidays only come once, uh, you know, once a year. A little weird, but I'm trying to get it all to make sense in a tiny bit. Okay. Um. No, this one might be better. I tried to get this video out to you guys sooner, or I tried to. Record? Yes, I tried to record sooner than that, but, uh, yeah, yesterday was Christmas. Yesterday was Christmas, the day before was Christmas Eve. Then I kind of came to my senses and I thought, well, I'm not really doing good. I need to recover. I need to get my, uh, sexy voice up to 100% functionality. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm going to wait a couple of days until I'm, I'm better, until I sound better, and then I will do this for them. So, yeah. Now, this looks like an ear, but I promise it is not. Yeah, it'll make sense in just a bit. At least I hope it'll make sense. Um, other than that, though, I've, I guess I've had a pretty good holiday thing myself. Um, pretty good Christmas and all. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. That's one of the things about growing up, though, about getting older, is that 
Oh God. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you guys this. Um, sometimes as you get older, though, things kind of stop feeling as exciting as they used to when you were a kid, you know? And that's something that I've been noticing. So, some people say adulting is hard for financial reasons, guys. Adulting is hard for more than just financial reasons. There's a lot of uh, personal things that go into play about it, too. But that's not to say you shouldn't try to make the best of it. You know, you have a level of freedom as an adult that you do not have as a kid. Though you may look back on, you know, your childhood on one of your cold, lonely, sleepless nights, which I most certainly have not experienced at all. No, I'm too tough for that. Um, wink. And you might think that your, you know, your your best days were uh, were then. But let Uncle Josh Dides let you in on a little secret. And I hope you can understand what I'm about to say. The past is a history. Tomorrow is a mystery. And today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Always remember that. Try to do, try to do your best to forget about the past. Let go of it. Don't worry about it. It's over now. It's done. Don't worry too much about tomorrow either. We don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. But appreciate today. Appreciate now. Because this moment, you're never going to have it again. It's going to be gone from the time stream. You won't be able to relive it. The people you have in that moment may not be here tomorrow. May not be there in a couple of hours. So always appreciate what you have when you have it. Even if it, even if it may not be the best. Even if it may not be particularly what you want, or even if it may be difficult. The good stuff and the bad stuff, that's preparing you for the mystery of tomorrow. It's making you stronger. Not in the sense that, oh, I'm just going to be tough and I'm going to neglect everything and everyone know. In the sense that I went through this, and it's going to make me better, not worse. All the stuff that's happening, all the things that you've been through, as difficult as they may have been, do your best to allow it to make you better than who you were then, not worse. I'm top out. You know I'm top out. So yeah, you know, you may not have, you may not have had the best holiday. You may not have had the best Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. But there's always tomorrow. Or there may not be tomorrow. We don't know. But whether there is or isn't, try to appreciate the moment. Try to think of the positive. Even if it may not seem like, you know, there is any. Sometimes the positive can simply be a silly joke that someone told that maybe didn't make you laugh in the moment, but it's going to make you chuckle later. Perhaps a, you know, family member or something that you really enjoyed. Just remember that there are positives in this life. It's not all negatives. Let's be realistic for a moment, if you will. Life... Life is not all sunshine and rainbows. It's never going to be all sunshine and rainbows. But it's not all gloom and doom either. And I can tell you that for certain. So, just appreciate what you have when you have it. Appreciate the good times when they're there. Because when the bad times come, it's going to feel like things are never going to better, you know? But sometimes the bad times are necessary for you to remember to value the good times. I don't know where I'm going with this, but hopefully it makes sense in the end. Hopefully you get something good from it. And you know, by the time you're watching this or after you're done watching it. 
even if it's the very idea, in fact, that, oh, Josh Adides does not know how to speak, and you're absolutely right. I don't really. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure what I'm saying at the moment. Um, I'm trying to be positive. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to uh, put some groove into these things. You know what I'm talking about? Put something, something good, something positive that you can take with you once the video's over. Um, I'm, I'm probably not very good at that, but I'm trying. That's one of my goals for, uh, for this year. Just make more videos, make more consistent videos of that, and try to, guys leave, try to leave you guys with something good. Even if it's a dumb joke that'll cheer you up or something, I, I, I don't know. But something, you know. Even if it's my, uh, even if it's my sexy voice that lulls you to sleep. I don't know. Some people say my voice is sexy. I personally don't hear it, but yeah. Apparently some like it. That's nice. That's a very comforting thing, comforting thing to hear from someone. Why didn't I think of this earlier? This smooths it out quite nice. <laughs> yes. So... Uh, where was I? I don't remember where I was going. Maybe I'll just try to stop talking. So how about that Texas weather? So unpredictable. I might have already said that last time. You guys hear about that man who uh, robbed a McDonald's with an alligator in Florida? I feel sorry for that gator. I'm sorry, but I, I think I feel sorry for the gator <laughs> more than the guy. That poor gator did not know what the hell was going on. No idea if you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, but yes, I'm making these little, uh, things here. And you'll see what it's going to connect to in a little bit. And like I said, I'm not going to record the other set of these that I'm going to do, because I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, I'm going to do that off camera while this video is uploading, so that during the next video, uh, we can focus on painting this thing and getting the egg saga over with. Um, I think that's just going to end up being a thing from now on. Maybe I'll get my subscribers back. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Anywho. Or maybe I'll just put some music over all this and, uh, and yeah, that might work. Because I don't know what the heck I'm saying. But that is a thing I'd like to do, honestly. Because truth of the matter is I know that life sucks a lot and the world is, respectively, the world is a, it's, it's, it's just a terrible place sometimes. But just because the world is a terrible place does not mean that you have to coincide with it and be a terrible person. In a world like this one, it takes a person with some serious balls and a whole lot of protein. Internal protein. Not, not the physical stuff. To be an even halfway somewhat decent human being. And I think that's... That's, uh... Yeah, pretty solid piece of knowledge. Um, yeah, not just balls, but also a lot of help from above, if you know what I mean. Or you believe in it or not. I, it, it, it needs a lot of help from above if you're trying to be a good person in this life, in this world. Uh, but go out there and, you, and, and be a good person. Be an agent of change. Be... 
you know, be someone that this world needs. And this world needs a, a lot of good peoples. A lot of good peoples. Because we are filled with way too many bad peoples. Don't go out and judge the ones. Just be a good person. Do some good. Do some good in this world while you're here. A fool spends his time making it colder, making it worse, leaving it worse than it was. But a wise man does their best to try and leave it a little better. That looks silly right now, but it's going to make sense in a little bit. If you guys can already tell what I'm doing, then yeah. I'm trying to make this work because I've never actually sculpted this before like that. Um, but rather than use a whole lot of clay, I'm just going to... I'm just going to make it look like I used a whole lot of clay, but I'm not actually going to use a whole lot of clay. And that makes sense right now. It's going to make sense in a little bit, just... Just trust your Uncle Josh Daddy, you yeah, know, he knows what he's doing. Tell you what. Yep. Come on. I use the bigger ball stylus again. To just compress this in like that.
basically about working on this is that you have something else on the other side that you're trying not to uh, completely destroy. <laughs> I think maybe, I think maybe that the next project I do um, may not involve clay. I don't know, I'm still debating that. Once this is done, I'm letting you guys know now I'm going to take a little bit of time and uh, figure out what the next project will be. Um, perhaps a painting? I've, I've been debating whether or not to um, do like a like a painting saga, you know, that might be nice, that's just me, uh, I don't know if you guys would like to see me, like, paint something in real time, um, not as good as Bob Ross, I'm letting you know right now, but, uh, yeah, I, I think I'd do fine with a brush, um, so, uh, let me know in the comments below if you want the next project to be a painting, I'm, I'm thinking of other stuff too, but, um, you know, I'm letting you guys decide if you want to see me do a painting instead. Um, because I don't want to just stick to clay for this. I know that back in the day I was pretty much doing clay, paper mache maybe even a little. Uh, but, um, or not a whole lot. I don't know. I'm trying to sort of, uh, reinvent the channel. Really reinvent what I'm doing. I'm really trying to keep up with it more. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so yes, please let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me do a painting next. Uh, I don't mind doing it, uh, at all. I think that would be kind of cool. I think I tried it once, but didn't really, um, didn't really continue with it. I don't remember. Or is that on Facebook? I don't know. All I know is that I recorded myself painting once. Oh yeah, it's much nicer than the hair thing. Yeah, my family's watching Nacho Libre in the living room and I'm trying to resist the temptation to sing along with the music. It's really funny. I like this movie very much. Perhaps he's number one. He knows the secrets of desire. Oops. He's number one. He's People are on fire. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna put music over this part. But if you can hear me, if you can still hear me somehow, I'm sorry. <laughs> from shaking. Yes. Comments below. Let me know if you guys want to see a painting saga. Um, but my next project is not going to be a clay project, not for a while, because this particular project here, it actually used up a lot of my clay. A good chunk of it. Oh, no, 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 please don't do that. <laughs> and, yeah, check it. It's not great. But it's nice, I think. And this is much better than a hair structure overall. Because adding clay onto this was always going to be kind of messy. Subtracting it is also messy, but it's not as messy. And it actually came out much, much nicer, I think. That's just my opinion. You guys tell me. I'm trying to smooth that out a tad bit now.
Yes. That is much nicer than the hair, most certainly. But I'm going to do something like this on the other side too. But like I said, I'm going to do that off camera so that the next video that I post, this thing is going to be baked and ready to go. Um, it's going to be finished. Oh boy, this one's going to be tough. Let's see if I can meld this into the other one. Jeez! I did it. Barely, but I did it. Okay. Enough of that. Just a little bit along the way. I still don't understand how the heck this camera works. It's not focusing too much, is it? Okay. Hopefully in the future I can get myself some better equipment um, that'll work with this sort of thing much better. Yeah, that's what I got going on so far. This is going on for a while. Uh, you may see some smaller details. I'm going to try to cut this off at 30 minutes, because I know that you guys don't want to sit through this thing for 30 minutes. But roughly, that's what I have going on. Um, I'm going to do the same on the other side. I may add a little bit of extra detail, too. Um... And I'm going to do that off camera and try to have this thing finished by tonight. So that that way, tomorrow's video... Oh wait, no, not tomorrow, I'm sorry. I have some else going on. Well, if I get home from what I'm doing early enough, um, I will see what I can do. I'll see if I can record something tomorrow. But, um... Anyway, the next video... Not necessarily tomorrow's, but the next one, the final episode, the season finale, if you will, that's what it's going to feature. It's going to feature this thing being painted um, and being, crap, I dug my nail to that by accident, and um, getting finished off once and for all. So, and then we'll move on to the next project. Uh, so, like I said, let me know in the comments below, ladies and germs, if you would like our next video to be a painting instead because I think I tried once I think like a really long time ago I don't remember because um, that's what I'm thinking it might be better because I do have a ton of canvases but either way let me know that's going to be done in real time it's going to be the next art saga This is currently the Egg Saga, and it is a sculpture. So, yes. Let me know in the comments below, please. And I will uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Now, typically when I do my painting and stuff, I get a little bit more uh, emotionally deep with it. So, yeah. Painting, I guess, is my much more deeper form of artwork. But I love sculpture, because sculpture, I just kind of have more fun with it, really. It doesn't necessarily have, like, some deeper, profound significance, but it's still fun nonetheless. Because contrary to popular belief, 
artwork doesn't necessarily have to be some over-the-top expression of the heart. It can be. Don't get me wrong. It, it can absolutely be that. Um, that's, you know, that's part of it all. It can also be something fun. Um, so if you're, if you're an artist or if you're trying to be an artist, you don't have to have, you don't have to be Leonardo da Vinci. You don't have to be Michelangelo, you know, just be you, you know? What do you enjoy drawing? What do you enjoy sculpting? What do you enjoy making? Do that. Just do it. Don't let, don't let your dreams be dreams, like Shia LaBeouf once said. Or shouted. Exclaimed. Yeah, that's what he did. Alright? So, alright, my dudes. I'm gonna let you go. This is what we got so far. And by the next video, we're gonna be finished. It's going to have a little extra detail from what I've done off screen. But um, other than that, uh, we're pretty much at the end of the X Saga. Uh, thanks for sticking around. One more video, and that's going to be it for this one. And uh, let me know if you want to see a painting or not. Um, yeah, all right. I will uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next one.